Hey guys, what's going on? It's Delconic here, and today I'm bringing you a quick news update from the global side of Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. Uh, the Facebook page just announced that they are doing the poll for the Shenron Wish to figure out what item that we want. Uh, there are four choices there, and number one was the thumbs up for I want to witness the mysterious ritual, the dum de dum uh, the, I guess the wow face, I want to unleash my dormant power, the laughing face, which is if I could return to the past, and the heart, which is I need a hot bunny to restore my key. So, the thumbs up is going to be for four Elder Kaiser, should be for four Elder Kaiser if we follow JP. The wow face is for orbs, I don't know how many, I think it was a thousand of each type of orb. Not 100% sure, it's like probably about like 1,500 and 150 or something like that, most likely, but I don't know. It says, I saw a couple of people say it's 1,000 per, you know, type of warp. Uh, then you have the laughing face, if I can return to the past, which is the reversal. And the heart, which is the, um, the hot bunny, which is essentially just that support item that gives you a whole bunch of key. Now, the last two, I think are, personally, I think are ridiculous. We should not want either of those for key or for um, the reversals. Reversals are free to grind, and the key, I mean, there are other items you can grind out, like the fruit of the tree of might. The first two are the two primary that everyone's arguing about. Now, I'm under the, the, the idea of getting the other Kai's. I prefer that because you get the potential orbs all the time, and it's available during world tournaments, and if we get Dokkan Battlefield, you're, there's always ways to get orbs, and you get the weekly events that come back every week. In terms of the Elder Kai's, yes, we are going to get a whole bunch of Elder Kai's. We should have an Elder Kai banner that gives you 10 Elder Kai's. We should get um, the bot, you know, on uh, to get a multi summon with two Elder Kai's, and you get the GT events that are going to come out, and you have the Baba Shop that gets renewed every so often, which Elder Kai's, and there are gifts and this and that. Yes, I understand you can get Elder Kai's, but they are not as relevant uh, as, or they're they're rarer and potential orbs because potential orbs you get weekly. In my opinion, anyway, I, I would prefer the Elder Kai's. But then again, you know, I have nine saved up. We get the banner. Then I have ten. I have enough for. The Super Saiyan 4 Goku, the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, if I pull them. Uh, the other argument is that the Super Saiyan 3 Goku is grindable. Uh, the Super 17 is technically grindable because you can pull him from the banner and then you can Doken Awaken, I think the SR into him and feed him in. Uh, the Korra technically is because you can pull the SR cores and feed them into him, the final form, in order to get his super attack up. Uh, who else is there? Janemba's not, Gogeta's not, the Gotenks is not. And the net yeah, no, Broly isn't. So the next couple of them are technically farmable. So yeah, you technically don't need them. That was actually a really good point. I didn't think about it up until well, I didn't see it up until about maybe 20 minutes ago when I was going through the post. But at this point in the game, or at this point in the poll, it looks like the people who want the other Kai's are winning. You're gonna get four other Kai's. I'm kind of double thinking it now. Maybe the potential orbs might be a little bit smarter to do because you can go and make your guys, your current team stronger. Uh, other Kai's definitely don't add up, but also, you need Elder Kai's for the bottom right path if you're lacking them. But right now, current standings since they posted this about 20 minutes ago is uh, 8.4 thousand for the thumbs up. The wow is 2.2 thousand, and the other two are just trailing really far behind. I don't know why anyone wants them. Maybe they're just joking around. Who knows? Anyway, it is the the actual poll is available from now, obviously, from the point you're watching this video up until 7:6 PST. I think it's uh, 4 o'clock PST. So 4 p.m. on July 6th, it's available. So go ahead and make cast your vote. So that way we can get the actual uh, the, the items when they come around on the 7th. So that's going to be cool. Uh, the other thing is I wanted to mention, uh, I'm going to be, well, this week, I'm definitely going to be going over a whole bunch of Super Saiyan 4 stuff. I figure what I'm going to do is I'm going to go do event reviews this week. I'm probably going to have them drop Wednesday and Thursday. That way you guys have that information available for you on Wednesday and Thursday. And then Friday, I will probably do... So well, I'll definitely going to have so many videos for you on Friday. Unfortunately, because I can't live stream, you won't get any live streaming from me, but you'll get some summoning videos from me. You're going to get gameplay videos of going up against Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, uh, and whatever else we have. I'm going to do the card reviews as well. I'm, probably gonna, yeah, I'm definitely going to do the card review on Friday as well. So Friday, expect to have a card review drop, expect to have a summoning video drop, and on Saturdays, expect to have both event gameplays. Because gameplays, I feel like you guys understanding how to go against the events versus watching me play is better, but some people learn by watching the others play. But I know as a lot of you have probably already seen gameplay from the JP side if you've been watching YouTube. Anyway, um, so that's that. I just want to go over so that way you know what's to come. Um, also, I have a whole bunch of videos dropped this week for Dokkan, uh, the, bo the, the boss rush. Uh, I dropped one yesterday, I'm dropping one tomorrow morning, and I'm going to be dropping 
one on thir well, Wednesday and Thursday. And each is going to be each stage. The one on Thursday, though, I don't know how well that's going to work because it's, an hour, it's going to be about an hour event, hour and a half event. Uh, I, I don't know if my phone's going to have enough storage. I can't do mirroring on my computer because my hardware is old. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that for you specifically, but I'm going to do my best to bring it to you. But anyway, one other thing before I go. For the JP side, we do have a new loading screen, so I'm going to go ahead and let that play right now. Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle! So we have the Super Saiyan 4 Goku and the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, as you guys just saw. That's cool, I like it. I don't know if they're hinting to the two and a half year anniversary about the two of them. Maybe we're gonna get the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. I don't know, man, that would be freaking pretty damn cool. Um, we'll have to wait and find out. There's also rumors, again, rum you know, I'm not gonna even say it. I'm not gonna even talk about the rumors because I don't wanna start anything. <laughs> uh, but yeah, once we have more information about this, the, the two and a half year anniversary on the JP side, I'll bring that to you as well. Hit that sub button if you're new here, guys, and I will catch you in the next video.